Hey everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. We are here out at a simulated launch pad with our brand new Omega-3 carrying a full complement that will hopefully be able to carry a single Kerbal knot to the moon and land. I had to make a lot of little changes to get this thing to fit within our height requirement. It is by far the tallest rocket we have ever made and the most powerful. So uh, this is again just a simulation. We're going to get it into orbit and see how much Delta V we've got left and make assessments from there. So without further ado, ignition. Alright, all engines are lit. Launch clamps are away and we are creeping upward ever so slowly. Uh, avionics are going to be locked for a while because this is a massively heavy rocket and we still have but the one Saturn uh, one control unit controlling most all of it but we'll just uh, we'll see how much of a, an arc we'll be left with after I'd say about half of this first stage burns out Avionics are still locked. Alright, now we've got avionics again. So we can start trying to gently lean it in to our gravity turn. Not nearly as high as I thought we'd be, uh, or as fast, really. But that is a lot of fuel that we just put out the bottom. And we're on to our liquid hydrogen stage. And on the previous version of this rocket, this was actually enough to carry it all the way to orbit. But it was not carrying the LEM. And it had three engines instead of five. Which is why this stage is so huge. Hmm. Does not look very good. Looks like we will be using some of this upper stage to round out an orbit, and that is not according to flight plan.
and we need to aim off axis or we're going to hit periapsis too soon. That's also not according to flight plan. Uh, still falling. Eek. escape tower that might help duh should have done that a long time ago Well, this is quite sad. I'm pretty sure this is just going to end up falling back as it is. We did not go nearly high enough on our first two stages, and now we're kind of left picking up the slack. But either way, we are far short of hitting orbit. I think we're going to end up burning out this entire stage just getting to orbit, provided we make it at all. And that doesn't do us any real good, honestly. It kind of puts us in the same boat we were in before where we can put this into orbit and we can put the lem into orbit. We can't put them both into orbit with the transfer stage to get them to the moon. So we may be looking at a two launch solution. Well, sorry this was such a short one guys, but uh, I'm just going to cut this off before it fails miserably as it is certainly going to do. Where It's going to start hitting serious air here in a little bit and we'll probably break up you know how it goes. Anyway, uh, thanks for hanging out, everybody. I will see all of you tomorrow.